Hi friends, it's Holly Arabeth. Today is day five of my video blog challenge, 30 day challenge, and I had a really fun day with my girl. And uh, we made lots of silly faces and we decided to try to think about what it would sound like for every animal if they laughed. I highly recommend trying that with your kids. It was funny. She loved it and I loved it too. And I also asked both her and my little boy what the word beautiful meant to them. And after some silliness and some answers like poop and pee and all those silly things that kids like to answer you with, Coda said, it means that you're kind and you dress fancy. Dakota Bell's input, and my daughter said that beautiful means you're kind, loving, respectful, responsible for yourself, and pretty, is how she ended it. So I was laying in bed after I asked them, thinking about while they were going to sleep, what it would be like to go around with my camera or, or with my phone, you know, or with a camera and ask people what the word beautiful means to them or the word pretty. And it would just be cool, I think, to kind of see what everybody thinks, um, in particular women, but also I would be really curious to hear what men think too. So um, I'm going to do that, I think at some point. But in the meantime, I'm throwing out an invitation, friends, to, um, you know, comment on this or send me a message or um, on Facebook or YouTube or whatever. And what does the word beautiful mean to you? What does, what does it mean? Like, and not an answer that is what you think it should be. Like, I kind of got the feeling a little bit that my daughter was trying to give me an answer that she thought that I wanted to hear. And so the invitation is to close your eyes and I'm visual, so, you know, maybe, maybe other people are too, but when you feel the word, when you think of the word beautiful, like what comes up? Like, what are the first feelings? What are the first images in your head? What, what, what's there? What does beautiful mean to you? And then, what does the word beautiful mean? Is there a difference? So, I mean, you don't have to do this, but if you want to, lay down and think about just like normal definition, normal word, beautiful. And then after you've checked in, maybe taken some notes or, or mental notes of what that feels like, what that, what that, what comes up, then put the emphasis, break it down a little bit and think of beauty and then think full and see if it shifts for you at all. And I'm just really curious to, uh, to hear some feedback on that. And I'm going to do some more thinking and, uh, some of you have already probably seen that I got my website name and I'm working on my site, my, my business cards, and I have this amazing inspiration for this project that I'm working on. I'm going to be sharing more of it with you as it kind of unfolds and I've got pages and pages of journaling that I'm trying to organize so that it makes some sort of sense to you because <laughs> my brain's all over the place. So, it's you are beauty full. And, yeah, I'm really excited to share it. And I'm really, really excited about the cultivation of this project and what it's going to mean and what it's what it's just going to be, you know? I don't, I don't even know, but it feels good. And I feel really motivated and really inspired. And I'm so grateful for that. And I'm so grateful for you. And you 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 and you. And thank you for listening again, day five, yay. Um, try it, 
try the video up, and even if you don't share it, it's super powerful, I think, to listen to yourself talk. I know that sounds weird, but um, you can be an active listener to yourself. Wow, that's a concept. So, I'm going to keep it short tonight. I love it very much. I thank you so much for listening, and I hope you're having a beautiful, magical day. Really? Um, and yeah, think on beautiful. What's it mean to you? And share, maybe. Bye, guys.